Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bro Jeremy. What's good? Unfortunately, Bears cannot join us tonight. He'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> this is tonight's episode recap of Supergirl. Tonight's episode is called Human for a Day. Roll the clip! After finding a red tornado, Kara's exhausted all her powers, much like Superman's solar flare ability, and has to wait for it to come back. She lives life like a normal human being, getting sick and getting hurt. All the while, around the city, natural disasters are happening. Maxwell Lord talks crap about Supergirl. Cat Grant, good things about Supergirl. Wynn is amazing, and he needs to stop being third wheeled. Seriously. And at the DEO, they're having to deal with an inmate named Jem, who is adamant in revealing Hank Henshaw's secret. Alex is on edge about him and doesn't know what to do. Kara, dressed as Supergirl, helps a man from making a bad mistake in robbing a store. She realizes she doesn't need her powers to be a hero. They go to save people at Katko who are trapped on the upper floors while an earthquake are happening. They're able to save everybody, but Jimmy nearly falls to his death, prompting Kara to get her powers back and saving him. She then takes care of all the natural disasters around the city and is back being super. Supergirl. Back at the DEO, Alex is getting chased down by Jem, who nearly kills her, but she's then saved by Hank. He reveals himself to be John John's Martian Manhunter, who shapeshifted to look like Hank Hensha, who had actually died in the mission with Jeremiah. John John's was the alien that they had gone to apprehend, but Jeremiah realized that he was a good alien, not a bad one. So he made a promise to take care of Alex like his own daughter. Biggest reveal ever, most awesome reveal ever, this show is awesome. Kara powers back. Martian Manhunter. Hank Henshaw revealed to be actually John John's Martian Manhunter. Hank Henshaw's actually dead. Jeremiah tried to save Martian Manhunter. Crypto. Boom. Oh man, that was awesome. So, a lot happened, right, Jeremy? A lot yeah. happened. Yeah. So Holy. many. It's the revere and it's so much the power. <laughs> If you just okay, so you guys have to sit through this one. It seems like a typical episode, but when they said they were going to reveal something, they were not lying. Now, what I was saying is it builds up into this amazing reveal that we'll have to get to. So Kara lost her powers. She did something similar to Superman's solar flare, which is basically exhausting all the power in her. Mm -hmm. And I like Superman, that term. Usually, yeah, solar usually flare. Superman gets his power within like I think 24 to 48 hours, so two days at the most. Yeah. And her, it's been longer. So she she's very vulnerable. She still wants to help people, but she can't do anything. Nothing. So what, what happens when she first walks in, Jeremy? For that? She actually has a cold. Achoo! She gets Achoo! sick. Wynn said that she took the train or the bus. <laughs> yeah. And stuff's like not the same. Yeah. And right before she came in to work, she was actually being tested on at the DEO. Yeah. Uh, and they're trying to give her like the solar rays and everything to kind of revamp her powers but they're not able to get it back right away mm -hmm. uh so she gets sent home by cat and it's just like all funny and while she's walking outside she bumps into james or jimmy and all of a sudden earthquake happen everything just starts falling to crap I don't even under really understand why. Was it just like a yeah, natural? Yeah, I think it was just a natural disaster. Just okay. a regular earthquake. Well, not a regular it just... earthquake, but an earthquake, yeah. It seems so much more like crazy. Like, I felt like something was attacking the city, but I guess I it thought was just so too. It was just Maybe yeah. they made it look a little bit more uh, intense. Well, it's intense to begin with, but it looked like something was destroying the city. But uh, Kara can't really do anything. And she actually ends up, I guess she forgets because she's got that hero mentality. She tried mm. to stand in front of a car that was like going towards her and Guys, jimmy tackles the crap out of her and she breaks her arm then he wraps her up and everything they go back to catco and everything is down news is down everything but for some reason maxwell lord was able to get onto the news and win thank because you because of win yeah yeah win is awesome he's able to get the feedback kara's still feeling powerless she doesn't think that she can help uh, Maxwell Lord is basically crapping all over Supergirl, mm -hmm. uh, saying, oh, look, she's not here. And look, look uh, what I'm doing. I'm feeding the people. I'm giving out blankets. I'm cool. So Jimmy and Kara go out there to confront him because, you know, since Supergirl's not around, they could use Jimmy Olsen, the photographer, and Kara, uh, who's actually quite the uh, reporter. Isn't she just an assistant, though? Yeah, she's just an assistant, but she's actually pretty good at uh, trying to get through to... Um, interrogator Lord. yeah good interrogator and this guy just doesn't crack i love how he almost knows noticed it too hey you look familiar yeah exactly he's just so like i think he's, he knows he's gonna find out 
list. If he doesn't know already, he's got a it's hint. Like him and Cat, they got like they got hints. They got to if piece they don't, all together. If they don't know, then they're kind of. So, well, that's happening. Kara is unable to save an elderly guy, and that sucked. Yeah, so it's sad. like having a, one day you have all the power in the world to save hundreds, thousands, millions of people. And it's then... literally like. Uh, the opposite of zero to hero, it's hero to zero. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sad. That sucks. I know. She couldn't do anything, and she was just like, she was like standing there. She was like, Rrr! yeah. <laughs> and someone like kicked a door, a car door. Oh, that was a uh, lord. That was lord. Because he was mad. Because he, he was upset. To, you, you see the humanity in the guy. Like, after all the shady stuff he did, mm -hmm. you can tell he's really for the people, but his agenda behind all of that is just, like, darker. Yeah. He wants to portray himself as the hero of the people, but he really... Well, right now, Wait, he looks like he's... Yes, Possibly. exactly. So, they're unable to save her, and then Jimmy's like, you can't save everybody. It's, like, kind of like the cliche thing. Like, even heroes can't save everyone. Mm -hmm. It's times where you gotta fall. And while that's happening, for some reason, right across the street, what happens? There's a burglary happening. And what does Kara, with a broken arm, decide to do? I'm gonna suit up and save these people, <laughs> even though I got a broken arm. Now I'm gonna have to say, huge, uh, this is a shout out to Brogmed Bears, everyone who's watched these things. That was a Kastori moment right definitely but it was still a cool one uh she was able to convince the guy with her power of her words to not hurt anybody and the, the guy handed over the gun and you know Su supergirl is still supergirl kara realizes that she doesn't need to always have the powers sometimes it just takes talking yeah words um, of wisdom that scene played out very differently in hancock he killed somebody with a snickers bar and then he got shot <laughs> So yep. uh, it was nice to see her walk away. I really thought she was about to get gatted, like either by accident. Or... <laughs> You're like, Jeremy, she's gonna get gatted. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy and I were watching this I on like the like, opposite nope. ends of the house. <laughs> I so, while that's happening, Cat Grant is actually showing, like, you know, she's pretty tough exterior, but these last couple of episodes, she's actually shown herself to be kind of like a human, mm -hmm. and that she actually does care, because she goes online to make sure that, on, online, she goes on the news that Win uh, was able to set up, and she broadcasts to the city that Supergirl is like the symbol of hope that they should keep following it even though that she's not around so like isn't that the the meaning of the s on the chest yes exactly that's exactly what it is so just to see her say that like i don't want to think that she's saying that because like it's gonna benefit her you know what i'm saying like yeah oh i should be on the good side of, of this whole supergirl story because the publicity just from watching this it seemed like she was like genuine for the most part you know what i'm saying like yeah. morale booster but there's always that side of her that's so snarky that no i think it's just that... with it's with her her job that she's yeah. snarky with because she called win wick and she thought that and he was like she some called him sort wit. Of... she called him yeah wick. she called him a bunch of stuff and she said like are you like some like dude from like best bar or geek squad or something and... Carol's like, nah, he's been working here forever. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, while that's happening, a lot of crap is going on in the DO. DO. Yeah. Uh, they have this superhuman named Jem, who's actually, in DC Comics, is called Jem, the last son of Saturn. Uh, so, he's a Saturnian. Saturnian. Martians. Saturnian. 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 And uh, basically, what his powers are, he's super super strong super durable because he could take bullets uh but his main power was in his forehead which is like a blue crystal gem thing oh yeah. his name and he's he the vision's cousin <laughs> <laughs> he has psychokinesis which is basically he can take over people mind control or, or getting into people's minds yeah so he gets loose okay and all because this time of the earthquake yes and during this whole whole thing oh he can fire beams from that thing too that's pretty yeah, cool so exactly like vision just this ugly yeah. cousin that's evil <laughs> in the separate universe yeah so he gets out and hank decides to like lock down the place and all the while alex is still really sketched out about him not telling the whole truth about who he is and what his role was in the disappearance of their father jeremiah henshaw you shady yeah you shady but you cool I guess he's cool uh, now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We I were, just want to say, it. to say it. Yeah, we're I, itching. I apologize. But we'll, we'll I apologize, yeah. Hank Henshaw, for no, not believing in you. That's it. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say it right no, there. No, no. They're going around. But Hank takes two of the the agents with him, leaves Alex. She's he's like stay, like he's just like being like the typical more hard know, ass. Yes, yeah, he's more hard ass. And he was like, stay here. You need to. I need somebody I can trust on this side. And then they have these things, the the transmitter, neural transmitters, to make yeah. sure that they don't get taken over by Gem. Mm -hmm. And the two agents, nada. He says the two things on their head, the transmitters broke, and Gem got to them and everything, and he comes back unscathed so that's red flag number one for alex red flag number two he still doesn't let her go out and then he goes out alone and it looked like he'd even have a neural transmitter that no, time. he did it, oh he, he did. said that there's like one more and then he took that last one because yeah apparently his broke yeah in quotations he just took the Al extra one so that she wouldn't go out basically exactly. so alex is like okay i'm done with this crap her and mr nice face dude, donovan donovan we're like okay we're gonna go out there me and you We'll leave the, t the rest of the team here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and see. Because because Hank, this is not the first time he's lied about the whole mission. Like, he, yeah. he's she didn't give the full details, but she's like, she's, he's lying to us. So they go I out wanted, there. Sorry, I just wanted Donovan to be part of the team. I know, he was pretty cool he was just like i'm in he yeah. didn't even he didn't even like double and he also knew like he he also thought that he was shady Hentra yeah because remember he's like where's Hentra? where's Hentra? yeah where's Hentra? yeah <laughs> and they go out and they find the two guys the first two agents and they still have the neural transmitters on them and they were complete working condition but before that they could put them on gem gets there and starts to control donovan yeah poor guy tells he, he's strong man too bad so sad yeah yeah he's he, like, he held out for, like, for a long get time get away i don't know how long i can control this yeah that was awesome true like supporting character for like an episode that's the way you gotta do it just be the hero she goes around and then all of a sudden she runs in to oh she to, she runs into henshaw he was so mad and this is why i'm gonna bring this up later on this is why the reveal makes it even more ridiculous was just because hank was really good at being hank he's some variation of hank headshot yeah. so they're locked in a room he starts yelling at alex like i need you to stay like he's just going off on her and when they go to confront gem together <laughs> or i think he was saying for her to stay uh she was he was opening the door and she points his gun at him she's like i want you to handcuff yourself and then he gets you know he follows her and then she tells gem to meet her in the control room so that she could let him out so going back to kara stuff is still going wrong over there she's feeling good about you know saving someone's life without using her powers and she gives jimmy a hug when walks in she's like what the oh. fuck he is always third wheeling it's ridiculous his third wheeling is like the worst third wheeling you can get and you can tell he's mad and kara's just so like i know she feels bad i, I can see it when went off and he was like you're never gonna have a normal life you know what i'm saying but you know why he's saying that is because, because he loves you Carol. exactly Kara, come on, please. Jimmy's got a girlfriend. Just go for the guy that doesn't really get it and the one that's been there since day freaking one. Not the tall, dark, handsome dude that just walked out of freaking Metropolis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's got loose lane. Let him yeah. go. So that hurt our hearts. And all the while, up on the top floors of Catco, people are trapped and they have nowhere to go. The elevators, you know, fell down and everything. So they go to save them. Long story short, Jimmy tries to go up there. They, they do get all the people down, but of course, cause story. Another earthquake. Yes. And the rope that Jimmy is on and he falls and that made Kara what? The adrenaline hype. Exactly. What Wynn said. She huh? needed some sort of Kryptonian adrenaline. Yeah. And seeing James fall 50 floors to his tomb yeah. was enough to get her powers back. So she gets back, she fixes everything in the city, and happy day, oh happy day. Uh, and Maxwell Lord's like, you mother. And th that was that. So, mm -hmm. getting back to the DEO, Alex tries to take out the gem guy. She does some pretty nice moves, you know. She, she, she lays blast on him. Gratatas the guy. Flash grenades, everything. But He's eating everything. Yeah. She, but she does shotgun the thing off his forehead. Yup. But that doesn't stop somebody who's bulletproof necessarily. Yeah. But then, guess who comes to her rescue? Dun 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 dun! Hank Hunter! Exactly! And snaps he, his damn neck. Remember, we told you guys that Jem is a superhuman, super durable, super strength and everything. And Hank Henshaw handled him like he was uh, a 
stop He's touring. guy. Yes. He snapped his neck. Alex is like, what the frick is happening? You know, they try to fix, the DEO is fixing everything. They're trying to get the base back together. And then her and Hank go, go, you know, talk. And the biggest reveal ever. I can't she asks him, you, Alex. Who? <laughs> she <laughs> says, who are you? And what happened to my father? And then he's like, I can't quit you, Alex. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What does he say? I'm not Hank Henshaw. Yes. Who am I? He says, I am the sole survivor of this planet. Last son of Mars. My name is oh! Jean Jean. Yeah! He said it like in a French accent. So uh, epic. Martian Manhunter. He. Hey, that's just amazing how they did that with the character. So. I had actually, you guys don't want to believe me, I haven't edited the post at all because we were usually able to go back and edit our post, but I had said this how many weeks ago? A whole month ago, actually. A whole month ago, like when the series actually came out. Uh, uh, second episode, the, I think. One of the first theories I had put there was like, oh, he might be John Johns, but mm, we, we'll have to see. No one gave a crap, and yeah, now everyone really gives care, a crap. But if you guys want to see it there, we're not going to correct the post uh, until, you know, people have seen this episode, but it is amazing. Out of all the things oh, I forget, and blown. About Martian Manhunter is that he is a shapeshifter. He took the form of Hank Henshaw after the actual Hank Henshaw had died uh, on a mission. And this is probably the biggest reveal on amazing. any DC TV show. Greg Berlanti, Andrew Presberg, you guys are amazing. Everybody who wrote this episode, you guys are amazing. The thing is, Hank Henshaw, so the, the whole backstory was Jeremy Danvers. Me. And Hank Henshaw, you guys have to remember, they went to a mission in South Africa to stop an alien. That alien was John Johns and or Marcher Manhunter. Jeremiah Danvers realized that this guy's not a bad guy, and he ended up dying to protect him. John Johns made or Marcher, sorry, Martian Manhunter made the promise to look after Alex and I guess Kara now. So, so the reason he acted the way he did was because he wanted to protect them, and that's amazing. You were an amazing actor. That was amazing. Uh, so that's pretty much everything action sequences were amazing in this yeah uh, the transformation was martian manhunter look amazing in the show yeah uh, i really can't wait to see more of him so theories what what's the oh did you see any easter eggs in oh, this oh we didn't end that the episode martian manhunter huh we didn't end the episode oh it ended with uh, uh as like she's flying away all's good uh kara you know she's saving the day someone tackles her Yes. And who is that? Well, actually, like, two people tackled her. Two people tackled her and... Yeah. So it's her aunt asshole and... <laughs> aunt asshole. Butt and her ench... Her yes. enchmen. So, uh, 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 what's her name? Astra? And yeah, her Aunt head. Astra. There to collect, I guess. And this is where I really hope that we get to see John Dons come into play. So, theories and... Or Easter eggs. Did you see anything? I just saw the toys on Wednesday. So that's yeah. pretty much it. Just is waiting Sector for 12 anything important or no? Uh, probably. We'll put that in there. Sector 12 was an Easter egg. We'll just say <laughs> that. There's uh, a 52 somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Maybe that Sector 12 is supposed to be Sector 52 and they messed up. Yeah. That's the Easter egg. Easter egg. <laughs> that's the Easter <laughs> <laughs> so what's the common theories uh, um preview for next week preview for next week more of on astra yeah there's basically that um, just i'm just saying bears if you hear this you probably might want to skip next week because there's there seem to be a lot of aerial fighting uh, yeah saying but uh yeah that's that's pretty much what we saw <laughs> <laughs> yeah for, for next week so yeah. heads up bears if you uh hear this or listen to this podcast but yeah theories man, got a justice league forming that's man. what i'm got... saying justice league is gonna come back smallville uh tom welling is gonna come back i don't back. care what you guys say tom welling tom... is coming smallville back smallville was a shiz tom he's got Welling's signed on to back. something called section 13, 13 oh, on cbs shit. same network as supergirl we don't know if he's going to that, be superman uh, let, let that show be you know it's i'm saying it, yeah, you if, know. if his show his show does well, let it do you know it does well. If not, maybe let him slide into the Flash Arrow Supergirl verse. Please, and uh, just I don't care what you, you people say. He's played the, the role the longest. You you can say anything you want about the storylines and everything being all over the place. That show had more cameos than anything. Okay, yeah, and it's. 11 or 10 year run so this show supergirl amazing i like how they just went straight into it and they're they're kind of like letting the chains off yeah they're, they're, they're really exploring options and this whole martian manhunter reveal was amazing super amazing you can't say it just look at him look at him right here oh my gosh right here 
the the fact that they made him grow is even more epic. He's big as shit. I know. <laughs> Alex is just like, what the? He's like Shaquille O'Neal. I know. <laughs> With a green face and red eyes. Hey, he looked ma more massive than Shaquille O'Neal. Well, she's like five two, and and that um, the Martian man is like seven feet tall. Yeah. Super wow. epic reveal, man. But um, for theories, dude, I feel like Hank Henshaw, the real Hank Henshaw, will come back. Is still alive. Yeah. I think he's still alive, and he is being like you know repaired built. yeah built yeah. sorry not repaired oh, he's being he, built and yeah. hank is gonna be like the heck who are you and he's like i am you but you are me but what is this yo that's I'm crazy you. dude that's and then gonna it be turns like... into a battle between yeah. <laughs> between hank remember, henshaw and hank henshaw so that's... it's martian manhunter versus cyborg superman so imagine that's... that I know, dude. Just, just think about it too. He has no other form to really revert to other than that Martian form because he's been Hang Henshaw for the longest time. Yeah. This is this episode, hands down, uh, ratings. I give this one Martian Manhunter, the sole survivor, John Johns. Oh, nice. I'd give this ten Kryptonian adrenalines over ten last sons of Mars. Damn. And one Saturnian. <laughs> one Saturnian because <laughs> of the lag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <went> Omeka. <laughs> Wait one second, you went Omeka. <laughs> sorry, this episode has got to be hands down my favorite. We are literally, you know, people had doubts about the show. I even had doubts, and I, I called myself out on it. And I'm ashamed. Shame on me. Yeah. Spank my face and punch my ass. Like, I was so wrong about this series. This episode alone shows that they know how to do things. It's not always centered on the things that you guys can't accept yet. Yeah, you know I saying? think it's because the people that criticize, they don't watch through the whole episode. Exactly. More happens feminism. throughout the videos. Them. Yeah, yeah. Weird stuff. Like, like just... I, I, I think Except the first the story. Few, yeah, yeah, the first few minutes show a bit more feminism than it should, but like if you get past that yeah. and watch the rest of the episode, then you're you're good. You'll understand yeah. the story more than just complaining. And just think about it. If this was a show about a dude, of course they're gonna make him all masculine and dark exactly. and stuff like that. This is about a girl. Of course she's gonna act like a girl. You know what I'm saying? Jingle, Times are like changing. There's going to be gay characters. There's going to be lesbian characters. Just accept it. The story is amazing. That's what's important. You know what I'm saying? But can't, we can't change everyone. If you guys yeah, still don't like it, her, you whatever. People can change yourself. <laughs> it's okay. If it's you guys don't enjoy hyped. it, it's fine. We enjoy it. The people that actually watch it enjoy it. And y'all are missing out. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bears, he, you missed this episode. Ah, you missed this a good a really episode. Good but Bears, we'll, getting... give you your t we'll give you your two-minute review next week. Yes. When we do this mid-season finale of Supergirl. Uh, so with that being said, you guys, go leave a like down below. Comment as well what you thought about the episode. Pew, pew, pew. Be sure to check out all the social links down below be sure to check out our movie pilot where we have a lot more to talk about on this episode as well as all the other episodes that we've talked about check out bear's channel all his links are down below we do agents of shield on there and amongst other things he does a lot of gaming videos please go check him out support him yes uh we miss him on this this uh talk right now yeah. uh so with that being said you guys see, see you in the next one Martian Manhunter! Ooh, John Jones. Just